is with human rights activist Peter Tatchell. Good morning to you, Peter. Good morning, Julia. Um, we hear this an awful lot about people who are often gay rights activists uh, or, 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 you know, gay rights icons, David Beckham, uh, when it came to Qatar and the like, who then suddenly seem to lose their concern about gay rights when it comes to another country who are capable of writing a big cheque. Is Beyonce a hypocrite? Absolutely. I love her music. She has been an absolute icon for millions of people across the world. She's espoused many progressive values. So this decision to perform in Dubai is a huge mistake. And it's not just about LGBT plus rights. It's about the appalling treatment of women in Dubai. Yes, everyone and always seems to forget that. They have, even with Qatar and the World Cup, it was all about gay rights and migrants. Very, very rarely a look in about women's rights. You, you're, you're absolutely right. You know, this, this is an example of how women are often excluded and overlooked. But the treatment of women in Dubai and right across the Gulf countries is out of the medieval era. On top of that, of course, Beyonce has made a huge thing about, you know, slavery in the United States. And quite rightly, but, you know, in the Middle East and in Dubai, there is a form of modern slavery where migrant laborers are kept under appalling conditions in violation of international labor organization standards. Again, it, it just is completely contradictory to what she stands for. And I bet that hotel where she performed, it was built by migrant labor, laborers yeah under appalling conditions. And, and this is the key thing. I mean, again, we're not blaming the hotel because they've had enough publicity, frankly, but, but also the fact that she was performing in, you know, a usual rather skimpy outfit, stockings, bra, and the like, sort of clothing that if you, if you, if you walked out in the streets or went into a restaurant wearing any of those sorts of clothing in Dubai, you'd be arrested as a woman. You're not allowed to, to, to dress as freely as you want uh, uh, there. Um, but this thing, you said, use the word, it was a mistake for her to take this check and perform. Um, was it all, I mean, was it a mistake she's entitled to earn money as she chooses? Isn't it a mistake for her, like many people, like the David Beckhams, like many other people in the public eye, and we see this again and again with celebrities, uh, whether it's about, you know, flying private jets when they're lecturing everyone about um, green issues as well, that actually the mistake is to pontificate on political and moral issues when you can't walk the walk. That's the mistake, rather than just saying, look, I just perform where they pay me to perform. I have my personal views. I keep them to myself. It's none of anyone's business, but I'll take the paycheck when it's offered. Well, you're right. I mean, it is the hypocrisy, the double standards, saying one thing and then doing something different. And I think a lot of Beyonce's fans are, feel very let down and betrayed. You know, they look to her as an icon who does espouse many progressive causes. Um, but when it came to this particular instance, she decided to take the money rather than stand up for human rights. But is she being given a bit of a free pass, let's face it, because she's a woman, because she's black, because she stood up on other issues? I think if a white male uh, uh, singer had done the same, uh, in the same way we saw the criticism of David Beckham that's been really quite vicious, um, she's getting a free pass, isn't she? Because she ticks the boxes. Well, certainly she's had much less criticism than, say, David Beckham or, you know, there's been others like Calvin Harris... Um, and Robbie Williams, who performed in Qatar at the time of the World Cup, they got a real roasting. And so far, there has been criticism, and certainly the yep. fan base is angry, but there hasn't been the same kind of backlash. And yeah, I hasn't think been the same outcry. Another example of double standards. No one's trying to cancel Beyonce, are they? Peter Tatchell, human rights activist. I just